Are you missing the boat on brain health? If you're someone like me who follows all the latest information and has been watching any of the videos that have been put out lately about your brain and protecting your brain, one of the things you'll notice is that every expert that talks about brain health mentions one thing in common. That is that stress damages your brain. Excessive stress hormone, elevated levels of adrenaline, all these things change your brain and put it in a position to where it becomes inflamed or it makes your inflammation that you already have worse. And yet no one has a solution for what to do for extreme periods of stress or su supreme conditions of stress. They all offer the same three basic things. What I call the big three because everybody says it. It's meditation, exercise, and eating well. Now those are three great things. You know the one that directly impacts your brain probably the most immediately would be meditation. And I say that in my opinion, because meditation changes the energetics of your brain. In other words, it changes the, the location which is predominantly used energetically by your brain. And that is the frontal lobe right here and the top of your head. Now exercise influences your brain right away too if you're doing sprints, if you're doing that type of exercise. It does have an influence on the frontal lobe also because it builds dopamine. And but it's not as balancing to your brain as meditation. The problem with both of those things though is that very few people know how to meditate well or do it for very long to get the results and it's the same way with exercise. Very few people actually engage in the right type of exercise that influences their brain. Now any type of exercise will be good but there's ways that you can maximize that. Now eating well, that's great because if you can limit your sugar, you'll limit um, some of the inflammation that's coming from your diet. But the reality is, is that none of those things will make an impact on your brain like taking a good adaptogenic herb formula. You know, you've heard me talk before because I, I make tea on chi, I make inner peace. Um, I often tell people that inner peace saved my life because it changed my brain when I was in a period of extreme stress and by flipping the energy of my brain I was able to actually focus, get rid of my fear and come up with a plan and my plan worked. I got rid of my cancer in about six to eight weeks approximately and uh, but I was not going to be able to do that if I didn't get the mental clarity from getting out of stress by taking inner peace. And so this is why I say that none of the experts are offering you anything concrete because when you have stress locked into your body, uh, it's a physical thing. It's something that your brain has dropped down into the stress response. That's a physical thing. It's stuck. It's stuck through habitual patterns of feelings and hormones, and it needs a physical substance to go in there and change things. And that's what adaptogenic herbs are. That's why I formulated Inner Peace mainly with adaptogenic herbs. Adaptogenic herbs are substances that feed the very glands that run your stress response. It's called the HPA axis. And all the glands involved with that, of signaling that you have stress, of flooding your body with hormones, and shutting off the flood of hormones so that you can recover, are all the same glands that adaptogenic herbs work so well to keep in a healthy state, in a state of balance, to where you can have a proper stress response, recover, and then move forward in life. And that's really what adaptogenic herbs are all about and why I call them nature's perfect food. Now I've been concentrating my life and my career on adaptogenic herbs for at least the last, oh, I'd say almost 18 to 20 years. I was so impressed with how adaptogenic herbs turned around some of my clients' chronic fatigue, sometimes in a matter of just days, by its ability to change the energetics of the brain to shut off the stress response and allow your adrenals and your physical body to start soaking up energy and 
put you back into a state of balance where you had clear thinking, could make decisions, but most importantly, just had some physical energy. Because when you're locked in a stress response, your body is literally losing energy all day long through your adrenals. They're turned on. It's kind of like having a faucet in your kitchen always on. It's just losing water and it's just wasting water because it, it's just turned on and nobody's using it. And that same thing is happening in your body when you're locked into a stress response. And so, you know, I'm lucky that I've been involved with herbs and I know real substances that will affect a real change in your body. Now that doesn't mean the big three aren't important, but can you imagine how amazing it would be to combine those three things with some herbs like you find in Inner Peace? That, to me, would be the perfect program. And that's what I suggest to you. Don't just take herbs and don't just meditate. Do the combination of both and see how your health takes off, how your mental clarity comes back to you, and how you feel completely different.